Hey guys, it's me Tom from Tom Chats and today in the second episode of our building diary um, we're gonna have a closer look to the framework of our Interceptor 90. So meanwhile I built the skeleton, you might see it in the back and first step we're gonna start is to remove the parts out of the um, support. Um, the smaller parts can be removed just by flipping them and on bigger parts you need to cut um, you need to cut the supports in order to be removed. In the next step we will sort the parts according to their assemblies. So for example all the parts with the number E are for elevator. And all the parts with number starting with F are for the fuselage. Here, for example, we have our rudder. And you see already um, on the trailing edge, um, we used much thinner material than on, this, on, the, on the rest of the structure. Before I finally glued all the parts, I just plugged them together figure out the right order in which the parts have to be assembled. These slots on the trailing edge show you um, after planking where to cut to get your control surfaces. On the elevators um, it's up to you guys to choose the um, right position of the rudder horns. Um, so for example, if you only want to use one channel by using an Y cable, um, you assemble your servos like here. So the servos are not mirrored, they are displaced. On the main wing, you see something similar. You see the trailing edge, which is made out of the thin material. You see the, the slots, which indicates to cut the flaps and to cut our ailerons. Um, you have as well the option on the flaps to choose the position of the rudder horns in order to save one channel. Here we have our printed wing tips. At the very end, they will be glued together with the wing. The carbon strut is proper in integrated in the structure. And also, for the landing gear, I didn't save material in order to be as robust as possible. So here is our custom-made retract from JP Hobby and once it's assembled this um, wood part works as a kind of a template which, um, which tells you where we need to cut our balsa after planking. And it also supports the, the open section of the balsa wood. In the fuselage we have something similar. Um, I also use um, the, the thin plywood for, as a template to, to guide me where um, we need to cut our balsa wood after planking. Also the nose wheel fits pretty fine in here. Also the air intake is completely integrated in the structure, um, which makes life easy to assemble. Here we have our 3D printed nose. It's also pretty well. And the rear 
Honestly. The Interceptor 90 is designed, like you know, for um, um, commercial 90 mils um, EF fan unit, um, which can be mounted exactly like this. And in case of using a turbine, you need to um, manufacture some some adapter brackets. Okay, that's it. So the next steps will be um, to think about the weight distribution and the um, correct position of the, the components uh, and also provide the mounting points for the um, truss uh, tube. Yeah. That's it. So hopefully we see us next week and I wish you a nice day. See you.